the National Association for the Advancement of Certain, uh, I mean, of Colored People, and others who have combined to fight the UNIA are going to be disappointed because they cannot harm Marcus Garvey. Not Judge Mack, not J. Edgar Hoover, not W.E.B. Du Bois and his Blue Vein Society, nobody. Welcome back to the Mac Jetson channel where we delve into thought-provoking discussions on history, culture, and social issues. Today, we're diving into an intriguing topic, the Blue Vein Society and its clash with Marcus Garvey's vision of uniting the entire black race. We'll also explore how colorism has been used to control black people. So, grab your favorite beverage and let's jump right in. Peace and black power. Welcome to the Mac Jetson channel. I am your humble host, Mac. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. To understand the conflict between Marcus Garvey and the Blue Vein Society, we first need to familiarize ourselves with this exclusive organization. The Blue Vein Society was a social club founded in the early 20th century by light-skinned African Americans who prided themselves on having veins that were visible through their fair complexions. Their primary focus was to distance themselves from darker-skinned individuals and gain social acceptance within predominantly white communities. Now let's shift our attention to Marcus Garvey, a prominent Jamaican-born activist and visionary leader. Garvey believed in empowering and uniting all black people, regardless of their skin tone or social status. He founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association and advocated for economic self-sufficiency, political autonomy, and pride in African heritage. Garvey's inclusive vision clashed with the exclusivity of the Blue Vein Society. He saw colorism as a tool used by oppressors to divide and control black communities. Garvey believed that unity among black people was crucial for achieving true liberation and progress. He vehemently opposed any organization that promoted divisions based on skin tone, including the Blue Vein Society. Colorism, the discrimination or prejudice based on skin color within a racial or ethnic group, has had a profound impact on the black community. Lighter-skinned individuals often experience privilege and preferential treatment while darker-skinned individuals face discrimination and systemic disadvantages. Colorism perpetuated harmful stereotypes, lowered self-esteem, and hindered collective progress. Colorism's control over black people is deeply rooted in history and continues to affect us today. It creates divisions within the community, fostering animosity and competition instead of unity and support. The media, beauty standards, and societal norms often reinforce the idea that lighter skin is more desirable, perpetuating this cycle of discrimination. Although Marcus Garvey faced opposition from the Blue Vein Society and other groups, his legacy endures. His ideas of black unity and self-empowerment influenced generations of activists and leaders who fought against colorism and other forms of discrimination. The struggle to overcome colorism continues with ongoing efforts to dismantle its harmful effects and embrace the diversity within the black community. Let's take a step back in time to 1916 when Marcus Garvey, stocky and dark-skinned, arrived in the United States. His initial plan was not to stay permanently, but rather to raise funds for a school in Jamaica, inspired by the famed Tuskegee Institute founded by Booker T. Washington. However, upon his arrival, Garvey found himself facing a different America. Booker T. Washington had passed away, and the landscape of black leadership had shifted. Seeking support for his vision, Garvey turned to W.E.B. Du Bois at the New York office of the NAACP. However, Du Bois was absent at the time, and this situation left Garvey perplexed. He famously stated that he was unable to tell whether he was in a white office or that of the NAACP. The abundance of white and light-skinned individuals within the NAACP's staff and the prevalence of light-skinned black people occupying desirable positions in black America undoubtedly played a role in Garvey's decision to remain in Harlem. In 1917, he established his chapter of the Universal Negro Improvement Association there. Garvey's choice to stay 
and establish the UNIA in Harlem had a profound impact on the course of African-American history. It marked the beginning of a movement that aimed to unite the entire black race, irrespective of skin tone, in stark contrast to the exclusivity of organizations like the Blue Vein Society. As we conclude this discussion on the Blue Vein Society, Marcus Garvey, and colorism's control over black people, it's essential to reflect on the power of unity and the importance of challenging divisive practices. We hope this exploration has shed light on this often overlooked aspect of history and encourages us to work towards a more inclusive and equitable society. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Remember, unity is strength, and together we can overcome the challenges that divide us. Until next time, stay informed and stay empowered.